you can tell from my lack of uh, apparently experience now, it's been a while since I've done any live streaming. So uh, two mistakes I made real quick. One, I forgot to test the stream earlier, so I tested it right before this. And for anybody who connected to the, the non-scheduled stream, uh, sorry, um, connect to the scheduled stream, obviously, because here it is. And second, um, uh, I accidentally moved stuff on the screen because everything is like little boxes, and that was my boo-boo. But we'll give it a minute, see if anybody else filters in. I, I see you, David. Hey. Um, so the way this room is arranged is everything is over here. And uh, and then the table's here, which you can see. And uh, I'm going to put this out front here. This is what I have to work with. I have two prowls that uh, my dude Moose gave me, or technically I paid for. Uh, and, and we're going to turn one of them into some type of hybrid crossover streetwise. That is the goal for today. Uh... If you are watching and you looked at the description, uh, a couple of credits. Uh, first, uh, Lazy Eyebrow, I talked to George. I uh, gave me some information. Uh, I really liked what I saw. He did a video for Streetwise sticker pack, but actually for Streetwise, and they use the same mold. Second, uh, Patriot Prime, I, I asked some questions. Um, I watched a couple of his videos. And then finally, uh, Larkin's Lair. Uh, the tools that I'm using uh, are from the list from Patriot Prime and Larkin's Layers videos. So, uh, let's hope that works out. And, uh... <laughs> I love... Thank you, David. Nothing else is on. I have no competition. Awesome. So, uh, give me a second. So we're broadcasting on YouTube, Twitch, uh, supposedly Facebook, and supposedly Twitter. Twitter's new to me. Never done it before. So we'll go with it. Um, let's see. If you're watching, uh, you can see the Twitch and Twitter responses. If you're on the Discord, you can actually see on the live stream channel the output. Uh, so I have everything bundled together very nicely. Uh, the, the site I use for the multicast, so I only have to use one connection, is Restream.io. So if you want to give them a check out, if you want to do your own simulcasting, that's the way to go. It's it's free. Uh, maybe get a water watermark. Uh, it looks like I grandfathered it in, so I don't have a watermark. So yay. Because uh, I've been using them since near the beginning. Which is funny, because that is kind of uh, the way I, wa I grandfather myself into x and stuff. So, spectacular. So... Ooh, okay, so David says, ordering my first Toy Hacks, Optimus Prime decal for his trailer. Yes, pa Patriot Prime, most well, funny, uh, Patriot Prime, I watch his Optimus Prime video. And uh, it pretty much, is, it's a 23-ish minute long video, and it kind of gives you the idea of what uh, you need to do. Okay, so, first, I ordered, for the first time I ordered from Toy Hacks, I'm going to put Prowls aside. Uh, and it took two weeks to get here. My understanding is maybe Toy Hacks is in Canada. Uh, so, it took, yeah, it said the United States, obviously if they're in America, uh, but even though their postmark says Niagara Falls, and they must be, like, above New York in, like, Toronto, uh, so if you're gonna order, plan two weeks ahead. So, uh, Larkin said some tools you need. Uh, I'm gonna add scissors, because I'm probably gonna need scissors. I actually have to open this up somehow. Uh, Larkin said uh, some cotton swabs, so I have some cotton swabs. Uh, these are to help put the uh, stickers on without getting your fingers on, because your fingers will like grab onto the stickers and pull them off uh, where you want them to go, so these cotton swabs don't have any friction to them. Uh, I also grabbed this nail file, um, only because of the fine point on it, so I can be a little bit more meticulous about it. So, um, Patriot Prime and Larkin said tweezers. I don't have the needle nose tweezers, I just have these tweezers. So I'm hoping they're good enough. And then I grabbed one more tool. Um, this is actually for like cleaning out the beds of your nails. Uh, but um, I, I think just a little bit more precision maybe. And then um, I'm going to put this down. Mainly so we can see everything. This is a lot of noise, this playmat. So uh, this will help us uh, see that. Let me uh, straighten up a little bit. That way I can just grab things without grabbing everything. And so let's see what's inside. You hear my graphic card in the background. It's a 1660 Ti, so it should be fine. Uh, yes, Canada. 
where the uh, how did it go? Uh, the the police are on mooseback. Come on. Actually, I don't even think the I don't think anybody will raise a moose. Is that, is that even a thing? Okay, a little bit of glue on here. I don't. I'm assume it's inside some type of cardboard. Yeah, it is. Oh wow, that is just cardboard. Says toy hacks. By the way, not sponsored. Just, just putting that out there. Okay. Ah, Ontario. Okay. I don't know. I don't know either. I actually thought Ontario was a city. It's also a province. I live in a city that's named after the county in Ohio. So, okay. So let's see what we got here. That try to move the light, uh, which is going to blind people here. So I'm going to try to. There we go. Wow, there's a whole lot of... I don't know where this goes. I expected some, like, instructions. I mean, I can guess these are taillights. Actually, it may be helpful if I use something with a pointer. I'm going to say taillights and then the brake lights underneath. I'm not quite sure. Like, like maybe on the sides here. I know that... Are, I, if I remember Lazy's video, uh, there's a couple that kind of go here. I'm not sure which ones those are. Obviously, the tail lights go back here. Because um, I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm detailing a car that isn't painted the same way, so I have to make sure that um, I'm using stickers that don't ruin its overall look. So I'm like, these are obvious givens. The tail lights are obvious givens. Um, I think these go on store door panels. Yeah, I don't know if I'd use those. And then there's some other paneling, which I assume is for robot mode. I'm not quite sure what goes where. Huh. Aha, you live in Ontario. Okay. So... I... I Yes, we need to figure out which one of these I want to adjust. I don't know how they got in, but oh yeah, I pulled them out of the box like last week. I'm just like, well, how did they get dusty? Uh, like, which one looks more beat up? Which could use the facelift? This one's a little bit more scratched on the bottom. I'm torn. I, I I don't know which one I want to modify. I think I'm going to do this one. This one has a little bit more damage on it. I have no idea which one's the one I got first. Because I got one like a year before he gave me the other one. Because the other one came with the um, Optimus Combiner. Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so, what do we got going on here? Uh, I'm like, how do the people know where these go? Wishing for instructions. So obviously door here. Hmm. This is where I'm kind of wishing that uh, like uh, lazy it popped on. So maybe you can tell me where it goes what. So I see something might go here. Okay, so... This top piece goes here because obviously it looks like it's what it's meant to do. So we will see if I can get that off. Uh, 
And don't mind me from being quiet. It's simply from the lack of, or for the need for concentration. Now I wish I had a needle nose tip thing. Okay, first sticker applied. Okay, that was the end of the stream. No, just kidding. Wow, that was a that was a lot of. Uh, I just said I had the dramatic music from. Uh, if you want to, uh, do you want to be a millionaire? Like uh, that. That was a uh, heart died a little bit. Okay, so let's try one more. Wait, do we want to do the other one right away, or do we want to do the headlight? I think we'll do this headlight over here, or tail light, I should say. That doesn't look too bad. Got tail lights now, or a tail light. Let's try to do the other side. Like it's too far over. Ah. Okay, this is a little nerve wracking. Let's see if I can change my position, maybe. Here we go. Second tail light on. This is like washing paint dry, I know. Oh, speaking of, I had to put all the stickers on um, Predaking and it took me three hours, I think. It's just an obscene number of stickers. Although I'm told they're uh, older Titan classes that take like four hours plus. I'm like, ugh. I don't think I have the attention span. I have to take some breaks. Uh, how are we doing this? Okay. Looks like it fell into place. That is awesome. Although it looks like it might be a little bit off. Let's see if I can pull it off and readjust. Nah, it's on there and I'm okay with it. That's not, it's not too horrible. Actually, hmm, it actually may be more correct than the other one is. We'll go with it. Okay. There's an Autobot symbol 
What's the chances of it covering this one up? It's fairly unlikely, so we may not use it. Hmm. Okay, this is purely paint up here. So I feel like these are the feet parts or something. I have an idea, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try something. So, I posted something, but I feel like it's not going to let me... Okay, hold on one sec. I'm going to switch. Put something on my end. Very worried it won't let me post something. So I'm gonna post the uh, Streetwise. Into the chat. It's actually in the description of the video, so don't let me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to look at that for placements. Um, because obviously, the, apparently, these don't come with instructions. So you, both you and I, have learned something today. Why, hello, YouTube! Greetings from the Lazy Abra Reviewer to a review of the Rapper Labels Upgrade Set for Combiner Wars Streetwise. Streetwise is the retool of the Combiner Wars Dead End and Wild Rider mold. I'm not going to show video. cars such as you would see in Dubai or somewhere where supercars are rampant. It's a good mold, though it's bland. Very, very bland. Mods I've made beforehand, though. Silver painted rims. On to the review. The first thing you'll note with the Repro Labels upgrades is how amazingly necessary it So, on, on the review, it goes right away and shows that the, um, the labels, uh, a number of them go straight from here, across, and then out to the front here. Now, uh, being they, that they are blue, I look at it and go, how much would it clash if I use only some of them? But, uh, I don't know if I want to do the side panels. So, I think what I'm going to do, though, is she shows pictures of the headlights. And they are these pieces right here. And let me zoom in so I can see from over here. Oh, those look pretty. Okay. So the way the headlights work is they're kind of uh, two L patterns that uh, intercept kind of like this. So that actually is okay. So. Let's see if we can do that. Let's see. If we look at the front here, here's the L one here and the L one here. And then there, there is even points, like a triangle one here. So, and if you are doing Optimus Prime, depending on which version, I, I would again recommend um, Patriot Prime's video. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so. Let's grab this one. Okay. 
Got to have a super steady hand, apparently. I'm a little bit off. It's actually not too bad. Let's try the other side. Much better. Okay, see, second time around, much better. It's better lined up. Okay, so next piece. Okay, so I think this piece is coming up with the surrounding sticker. Let's see if I can separate them. Okay, this is where I'm going to probably need this piece here on the file. There we go. Let's see if I can... Okay. Yeah, it does. Definitely makes the lights pop. Okay, this is super tiny. Oh man, that is fantastic. Okay, let's see if I can do it again and props better on the other side. I had put this video for an hour length, but it depends on how well I can get this done. Because these stickers are a pain in the butt. I like. I kind of want to use the scissors, but I don't want to cut too much. Oh, I t dropped the tweezers. Here we go. Let's get that out of the way. Here we go. Oh, that is nice. That is nice. Wish I could be more precise with it, but no. When I accidentally sweat on these things. Whew. Okay. Now there's these little corner pieces. I'm not quite sure how to get that off. Like, I'm looking at Lazy's uh, video, and I can't tell if he even ever got these to go on. Let's see, let's switch to this. OK. 
Okay. There's barely a sticker here. On there. It's got as best as I can onto that little piece. Oh, because it fades from the blue color here to this gray color up here, or silver. Whew, that was tough. That seems like the smallest piece on here is just gonna be the hardest one. So. Let's try the next one. Had it and I lost it. This is why I'm not a doctor, because I already want to just give up. <laughs> oh my god, this is so stressful. I don't know why people do this for recreation. like trying to stay on the what I need is another hand I was like, where'd it go? It's on my finger. It keeps coming off whenever I put it. Oh, comedy of errors. It's like on there, but not. I honestly have no idea which side is the right side. Man. 
wants to hang on to everything but the toy. Stuck to the tweezers. Oh, God, got it on there. Not perfect, but it's on there. Whew. Because David, I love challenges. <laughs> I, apparently, I also like punishing myself. That was uh, that was harrowing. Okay. Okay. So apparently, there's a piece that goes over the top piece here, which I think is this piece here. So let's look. Rep labels upgrades is how amazingly necessary it is for this vehicle. Like, not even joking, it turns the pathetic attempt at a paint scheme from Hasbro into an ultra cool looking and believable police car. I so appreciate the continuation. Okay, so, this gray piece in the middle goes over the, the bite bar. So these smaller lines here go over the front of it. A little bit off. Okay. I'm gonna use this to get this side here. Oh, look at that. That is the <laughs> will be the easiest one of the day it's right there I'm officially proud of myself moving on <laughs> yeah oops uh, I didn't get them in the mail um yeah uh, let's see what's next of blue along the side of the vehicle instead of the paint just stopping where all the paint seems to on these figures it makes them look awful because he's pointing out how the paint here and here on the, the original streetwise kind of stops but you notice that on here on this guy it's black all the way around but record labels really makes the stripe look amazing with the way it flows along the side of the vehicle and contours to it other additions include making the headlights stand out, making taillights, and a blue look. Okay, so now we got the back end shot. And for reference, I am at second. I'm at exactly one minute. So it shows the back. Now we've already done a couple of the stickers. And it shows that this emblem here is bisected. And it looks like it is. And it goes right here. 
And then there are pieces that go here and here. So let's see. like I'm holding chopsticks. It's a little off. I need something a little bit more finer. It's being a jerk. No, don't set. There we go, down to match the other side. A bit stuck on the bottom there. I don't like that near. No. I need them to li line up. There we go. I can handle that because that's. Notice that one side sticker is bigger than the other. Oh well. Anyway. Okay, so it says there are two pieces that go in here. Oh, and they're right here. I think I'm going to do a slightly different approach since they're inset. Of course it fell on the paper.
if I can just get it to go in there. <laughs> I just fell into the spot. That's fine. Okay. Okay, so there we go on that one. Oh, uh, as far as rollers are concerned, uh, I got mine from, from Firetox. So if you're looking for a roller, I'd say Firetox. I don't think I paid very much for it. I had a, a large order, so... I only remember the order price was sizable. Okay, let's see if I can line this up better. Voila. Okay. Don't know how well you can see that, but actually it's not too bad. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, so there's lights, uh, the windshield here, I can actually put a, blind, uh, a shade bit over here. Then there is two of these that go in the back here, and okay, so this goes here, and then that one goes here. Hey, Brian. Uh, I, I think they take just straight up credit cards, so yeah, you, you would need a, if you don't use PayPal, you would definitely need a bank card. Okay, so let's take a break from these tiny detail stickers and just do something large and easy. And I'm just going to use this older Q-tip and just make sure it's clean on the surface here. Wow, you've never used eBay. Um, I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I actually had stuff on eBay recently. I sold my uh, my uh, my Cybertron, no, Fall of Cybertron Blaster recently. Okay, yeah, I was gonna have to read the instruction here. Yeah, yeah, this goes kind of here. I don't like the angle on it. Uh, I might be. Does it go over the edge or something? No, this is the right piece for here. See, that's weird because the cut is different. There we go. It is confusing. Okay, so next one.
yeah, definitely easier. <laughs> so I need to take a break of the tiny ones. Um, this piece here goes here. Not perfect, but close enough. Close enough. So far, so good. Let's see. Uh, there's a piece I can put here. Ah, oh, here it is. Is right here. So just a heads up, I believe the sticker sheet was six bucks and then for North America shipping to the United States from Canada was three bucks. So gives you an idea how much it would cost if you live in the United States. If you live in Canada, it's only a dollar to ship. Ah. Uh -huh. I don't know if I like it like that near. No. I'll go with it. So I don't think I want to cover this up. But it gives it that black accent like over here, so I think that looks kind of cool. <laughs> Toy Hack sponsored by Patriot Prime. Logo on the back that really makes it look like a Ferrari inspired rear end. Blue stripes running off the back that say either to serve and protect or to serve and protect a bot. Protect a bot really uses me and my wife, so those are the ones I applied. The rear rendo gets to be a smidge bigger, and the light bar gets some chrome. Just vehicle mode alone is a massive improvement that I seriously recommend on this alone because of how amazing it looks. Robot mode is a different story. Whew. Okay, so let's see if there's anything else before we finish off the top here. Um, got all the super small stuff. I opted for these fancy headlights. Or tail lights, I should say. I didn't see any. There's these headlights are done. This nice light bar piece. Black on top of this window here. There we go. So it says go to robot mode. So... I haven't transformed this in a while, so let's see if I remember. And Brian, I know you're late coming in. Um, basically, I'm following the instructions on a lazy eyebrow video. So that's what you're hearing. Okay. 
Check. Don't do that. There we go. What am I forgetting on the legs? There we go. And here we are in robot mode. <laughs> yes, following lazy to be lazy is double lazy, yes. But uh, I like the way Streetwise came out, so I'm modifying my second prowl, because here's the first one, unmodified. And we'll compare them when I'm done. Um, just to make the guy stand out different from his uh, doppelganger. Uh, because you missed it, uh, just a heads up, I have two because I uh, got a, a friend got married and he needed to get rid of some of the Transformers. So I got his single prowl and I got his uh, Optimus Combiner prowl, which are the same prowl. He just happened to have two of them. So I wanted to make one more different. So here we are. So according to Lazy, there are these pieces here go on the toes. And apparently these go on this one. A piece of wax paper got on there. Voila! Now, I feel like I'm painting his toenails. Little pieces of sticker come off with it. Hey, one foot done. Although I think what I'm gonna do is put his hood up a little bit because it's, it's putting a little extra. Yeah, there you go. That way I can lay him flat. piece of sticker see how this is going a little bit faster David I just had to finish with the small stickers and get to these somewhat medium ones And that is the best work I've done all day. Okay, it says there is a sticker that goes right here on his combiner bit. But I want to make sure real quick, because I, I had him in combiner mode a while ago. Make sure there is no other. Nope. Okay, I was like... Is there a difference in the bits? Nope, there's just front and back, okay. Get 
it down there. Okay. So this piece here goes right here. Hey, um, offhand, how's the volume? Because I'm using the overhead camera instead of the uh, the face camera because uh, I know I'm going to be facing downwards. And I turned down the the modulation decibel soundy thing to 80%, so it doesn't sound like I'm screaming. Ooh, it looks like a belt. That's cool. Looks like a superhero. Hey, silencer. <laughs> jackpot. I don't know. Do they have a jackpot one for the Studio Series? Or what is it? It's Studio Series Jazz, but it was part of the Golden Disc Collection. Okay, so let's see what else we got going on here. So there's these two bits that go on the toe still. And then this piece is here, which... Oh, okay, so one goes around the faux chest. Yeah. Okay. And I actually think that would look kind of cool on his chest. Any, okay, so let's take a vote. Should I put this piece on his chest right here? Would that look cool to anybody else? And while you're doing that, I'm going to go put these other stickers on his toes. Let's see which way this is go. Heck, I don't like that. That's a little too off. Come on. There we go. Only seven lives. The sticker expert, uh, expert is probably um, Patriot Prime. There it is. Could go over like a micro bit to the... I'm, I'm actually okay with it. You can barely notice. Alrighty. <laughs> you might. Um, okay. I kind of do want to put it on the chest. Just oh, I'm gonna I may or may not use it. We're gonna see how it looks. Well, oh, this is gonna be difficult. Maybe. Oh crap! That went on super easy. Oh hell! I like that. Let's uh, adjust the camera a little bit here. As I knock the camera. Okay. So we've established that the paneling would go over the black, but it seems like a waste of, well, hmm. I'm torn because it looks cool. 
And if I don't use this star here, the paneling would end right here at this transformation joint or section. And then, let's see. But on this sticker, because the, the, the original Streetwise has this area painted, it would look weird like it didn't go anywhere. Because I don't mind at the top because you don't expect it to continue on down the panel. But now I'm wondering what this piece is for. Because that is the last piece otherwise. Or maybe what these pieces are for. Hmm. So let's see if we can continue watching the video and figure out what else is left. A lot of red has been added to the chest to help break up the black. A gray rectangle added to the combiner plug. Okay, so I found out what the triangle here is for. It goes on his crotch. And actually, I think that would look pretty good. So we're going to add that to his crotch. Well, we got a problem with it being stuck in the... And that's what I learned from watching Larkin. Okay, so today on on, on Oncology 101, uh, Urinology, Ur Urology, here we go, Urology 101. Oh, that is, that is pretty nifty. Okay, oh, there's these two pieces here. Oh, they go on these. Oh, David, we're going back to small stickers. Oh, but here, let's finish the robot mode. Although I think I'm pretty much otherwise done. Unless they figure out what these two pieces are for. Plug, a bit of gray to the crotch and some red and gray to the toes. Not much really to add because Streetwise is already looking pretty dang fine in robot mode already. But I gotta say, I love the toes now. They really stand out. And if I'm not mistaken, the aim was to emulate the light bar being toes from the G1. Regardless, I still like it. It makes the robot look that much better. The hand foot gets a bit of blue to match the police car decals, and that looks interesting. Okay, so he shows on the video that these pieces here actually go on to his combiner part. But since I mix and match combiner parts, I'm not going to worry about that. But let's continue. It actually suits the thing when you get it to leg or foot. And honestly, either look good. The blue on Streetwise as a limb isn't overly G1 accurate, but I don't care. Both he and Rook are blue. And it kind of ties the hot spot torso all together. And I really, really like it in the end. It looks so good. Anyway, that's been my review of the Rep. Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I saw. Okay, yes, no, but it's the last two pieces. So, um, back to car mode. Come on. There we go. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do the waist first. There we go. Heck, get back in there. Okay, so for comparison so far, we can see the sticker changes. Obviously, I did a horrible job on this side, but this side's perfect. 
The light bar is different. We added this sticker here just for a little bit of flash, I guess. Uh, a little bit of a tint on the back window. And then we added some lights, uh, Autobot symbol, and uh, looks like a Zoss, but is the sticker peeling or is that just me? Let me check something. No, it's fine. Okay, it's just a little bit up on the, the curve there, but yeah, so far so good. So the last two pieces are the mirrors, and I want to cry. Um, okay. So it looks like this one is this one. Trying not to breathe while I do this, and that is just a horrible mistake. Oh, no, it's slightly off. Let's see if I can adjust it. Oh, got one on. Okay. Whew. It's nerve-wracking. Come on. Hurting my hands, uh, trying to be this delicate with it. How do people do ships in a bottle? I just want to quit. Um, I'd sink the Titanic and say good riddance. trying to slide into the joint. Come on. Almost have it. Almost. I think I have it. Rung one. Oh, we've done it. 
<laughs> you can see my pain. Holy crap. I'm actually panicking, but it's done. It's done. I'm just so happy. I mean, despite the fact that his um, he's less tannish and he doesn't have the, the red components of Streetwise, I just really wanted to stand out. So what we're going to do is... Uh, we didn't use this sticker. This is for the combiner part, and this is for the panel, which again they wouldn't work. They wouldn't look well. So here is what we started with, and here's what we ended up with. Uh, Uh, then my camera has gone off. I must have bumped up my head. There we go. Okay. Oh, actually, I bumped the whole table. I don't know what I was talking about. Wow, I really did bump the whole table. Okay, so we did nothing on the sides, but the back is definitely better. The front, and then let's transform them. Which is, I really appreciate the badges of blue natively in here, so that kind of everything goes together, look-wise. So the blue doesn't seem as out of our place as it could have been. And then, of course, here is the differences. And we see we've added the red crest on the top, a cover on his crotch, a, a, like a belt buckle here on his uh, combiner joint, and then basically painted his toenails. set for Combiner Wars Streetwise. Definitely a set I would highly recommend for all that it does to this figure. This has been the Lazy Eye Road Reviewer. Hello, friends. Okay, so uh, apparently Lazy loved this set too, so and that is pretty much it for me on this. Um, we used up all the stickers we can use to basically make him look closer like Streetwise with, without, you know, getting there because we can't. And um, just a reminder, we didn't use the combiner bit pieces. We didn't use the alternate uh, to serve and protect bot stickers. And we didn't use the back uh, fender sticker because it makes no sense. There's no continuing blue uh, coloring. So I think that's pretty good. Uh, thank you all. Uh, <laughs> I thank you all for watching. Uh, I Wow, this, this took... Uh, Took a little bit more than a, an hour and 20 minutes, uh, a little bit longer than I expected, but it got done, and I'm happy with the results. Uh, overly meticulous. Uh, don't forget to check out my uh, my my Twitch, my YouTube, if you're watching on either one of those, because obviously I'm broadcasting them both. 
Uh, and, and don't forget to check out the Discord. And all the links are in the description, at least on the YouTube uh, video. So uh, everything's at HashLegionette. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. I will have a live stream coming up. I don't know when. Uh, I have two Lego Ninja Turtle set. Something a Nickelodeon tried and didn't get any real air on. They, they did this for both Ninja Turtles and SpongeBob. But they only did two Ninja Turtle sets and like a SpongeBob set before they said, you know what? Nobody's buying them. They're, in, excuse me, they're in five blows like crazy. So they're five bucks a set. And you build a little set. So that'll be the next live stream. And I'll catch you all later.